Hey guys, JC here. Welcome back to the channel for another video from the Card Cave in Spokane, Washington. And uh, today we are going to be breaking open three hanger boxes of 2021 Donruss Baseball. But before I get to that, a couple, uh, couple things I'd like to mention. Um, thank you very much for the support. If you guys could please do me a favor and hit the like button uh, on these videos. And also, if you have not subscribed yet, please give me a subscribe. We are striving to get to 500 subscribers uh so we're getting close we're around 425 now so really appreciate the support um really love making these videos for you guys and hearing the comments so continue to do that really appreciate it and uh keep looking out for more videos in the future so with that being said also some stuff going on in the card world and sports world that i just want to talk about first before i rip into these three hanger boxes as most of you have heard psa has completely stopped accepting submissions for all service levels except Express and Hire. And Express is a $300 price point. So those are only for the super high-end cards that are worth uh, you know, a couple thousand dollars or more. So basically, um, PSA has like a 12 million card backlog. Um, the president, Joe Orlando, sent out a letter about three weeks ago stating that he has They've been inundated with cards, and they don't see how they're going to be able to get through it. It's, a, it's just a really tough situation. And then yesterday, they announced that they stopped submissions. So um, what does this mean for the, the graded car market? Initially, it's going to cause a ripple effect with every other grading company. So you're going to see a ton of submissions uh, get sent to SGC, uh, BGS, HGA, uh, CSG, GMA, they're all going to get inundated with, with cards because these people are not going to stop wanting, people are not going to want to stop getting cards graded. Uh, they make money that way. Uh, they can flip a, a raw card that costs them a couple bucks. Uh, they can flip it for $50, $100 or more. So um, that's going to that's gonna definitely uh, increase demand at all the other grading companies. What I think is going to also happen is the price of graded cards, um, probably especially PSA cards, PSA 10s and 9s, will go up um, because of the scarcity of getting those cards in the short term. Long term, uh, once those 12 million cards are graded, they're mostly going to be modern cards. The modern card graded market will probably see a drop. So if you guys want to sell your cards, I would sell them now. Um, I don't think that the bubble is going to burst, but I think you're going to see a decrease in pricing at the end of the year. Now, 12 million cards is a ton of cards to get through. So, um, you know, I don't know how long it's going to take them to at least uh, put a dent in that backlog, but it's going to take a while. You know, 12 million cards, that's about uh, $200 million in revenue, 200 plus million dollars in revenue that PSA has to get through. So, um, but I'm I'm a big believer in in SGC. So if you guys are interested in grading cards, SGC uh, is the way to go. If you want to see one of my previous videos on my reveal that I got them back in nine days, I'll leave the link up above. Um, really a solid choice. So uh, that's my take on that. Um, it's going to be interesting interesting to see what happens now that baseball season has started and. Um, where people are going to go with uh, their grading choices. So um, that being said, it is baseball season. Opening day is upon us. So I thought I would give you guys a first look at the 2021 Donruss um, product. Yes, this is not licensed by Major League Baseball. So there are no logos and um, team names on the cards. But there are some really nice cards in the Donruss set. And, um, you know, there's there's quite a few opportunities to get some nice hits here. The colored parallels are pretty cool. Now in this box, the hanger box, you can get up to six orange hollows and two diamond parallels in each box. Plus there are, is a bunch of interesting insert cards. There's whammies, there's downtown cards. Um, so there's a bunch of stuff in here. I got three of these off of the Walmart website. Paid $11 a piece retail. Uh, and they just arrived, took them about a week about eight days to get here. So uh, we're gonna open all three. Each hanger box has 50 cards, so it'll be a pretty quick opening. Uh, but hopefully we can pull something really cool. Um, like I said, Donruss has always been known for their really cool parallels and and uh, you know uh, themed cards. So we're excited to see what uh, this one, hold on, we got a Dylan Carlson on the back. Not too bad on that one. So we'll, uh, we'll see what that card looks like. But 
Um, I'm a, I actually am a big fan of the Donruss Optic Box um, Hobby Box, and I'm waiting for them to come out with Optic this year. I got one last year that was a hot box, so I got five autographs in it, which was pretty cool. Um, so hopefully uh, the pricing on the Optic won't be too terribly bad. I know the Donruss Hobby Boxes were almost 200 a piece. Uh, from the LCS near me. So anyway, let's get into this. All right, so we are going to start with these. All right, so as you can see, really clean look on the card. Um, I think it looks really good. We start off with a Randy Rosarena. There's Colton Wong. And they, they, they do choose pictures which don't really highlight the area of the logo on the, on the uh, uniform. So they really do a good job of masking that. So it really looks like, you know, it's a, just a regular card without airbrushing out the logo. There's Reese Hoskins. So a lot of people are high on Byron uh, Buxton uh, having a big year this year if he can stay healthy. Um, he's got 30-30 potential, really good defender. So we'll see. Trey Turner, Jacob deGrom, Tyler Glass now, Dansby Swanson, who I think is going to have a really good year for the Braves. There's Luis Castillo. Keston Hira, Vlad Guerrero, who's lost about 40 pounds from that look. He looks a little chunky there, but uh, he had a great spring. There's a uh, retro Ryan Sandberg, who is actually from Spokane. Um, born and raised here in Spokane. Jermaine Marquez, Oral Hershiser. There's Aaron Judge. Andy Pettit, Yankees great. Max Scherzer. There's another Vlad. That's the um, that's the Vlad Senior, and then we got Max Freed, the uh, opening day starter for the Atlanta Braves. All right, now we're getting close to the uh, parallels here. So we got Jason Giambi, Shohei, who is going to pitch and hit. He's actually uh, lined up to pitch uh, Sunday against the White Sox, and I think they're also going to put him in the lineup as a hitter. First time that's happened, I think, since Babe Ruth. Frank Thomas. Massively off-centered Frank Thomas card. There's Tim Anderson. See if he can win another batting title. He's primed for a big year. Ichiro, that's also off-center. All right, now we're getting into the uh, parallels. There's the Stars and Stripes parallel for Garrett Cole. Obviously, these are not numbered. All right, and our orange hollow. We got Brandon Lowe. Catel Marte. There's Jeff Bagwell. David Fletcher. There's a Vlad Guerrero Diamond Kings hollow. And then we got a Joey Bart rated rookie. It's a nice card. I'll put that over there on the side. And then we have an Unleashed. These are also the insert cards, which are really neat. Obviously, this one is uh, Christian Yelich, but that's a really nice looking card. And then we've got a Trevor Story, who is now the main man in Colorado. This is the Elite Series. Really nice looking finish on that card. And then we go to uh, Nate Pearson rated rookie card. Really nice. And here's the uh, one of the uh, parallels. This is uh, uh, the uh, nickname card for Bam Bam. It even says Bam Bam on the back. Uh, it's, it's Lau. It's Nate Lau. So, <laughs> and we got Pete Alonzo, who I think is going to have a really good year this year. Um, he was on pace to hit, in a 162-game season, almost 50 home runs last year. He hit 16. So, really nice Pete Alonzo. There's Debbie Garcia, who got sent down by the Yankees. We've got Tristan McKenzie, rated rookie. 14-time All-Star for Alex Rodriguez. There's a Vlad Guerrero, Diamond King. We got a Joey Bart Base, rated rookie. Max Scherzer, there's Starley Marte, Kiebert Ruiz, rated rookie, Mike Stremski, nickname card, Anthony Santander, and then there's the Dylan Carlson, rated rookie. So not a bad first pack. Uh, the inserts uh, look really cool. The parallels are neat. Uh, we'll see if we can hit a nice big uh, rookie uh, parallel in the next hanger. So here's the second hanger. Already got a double. I see 
you can see Swanson on the front, which we already got one of. All right, so here we go on the second hanger box. Dansby Swanson, there's another Luis Castilla, another Keston Hura, Frankie Lindor, Freddie Freeman, Jack Flaherty. Like I said, these are nice cards. They're in good quality. Um, obviously, I've, had, I've seen some issues with centering, but they're good quality cards. Anthony Rendon, J.P. Crawford. There's Kyle Tucker, who's probably going to have a really big year for the Astros. The big unit, and as also, all these are way off center. Wow. Kenta Maeda, Paul Molitor, another off-centered card on these 87 retro, I think they're, they are. And then there's Roger Clemens, Johnny Cueto, Mariano Rivera, another off-center. Will Myers, Rafael Palmero. All right, let's get down to these parallels. We got Yadier Molina, there's Wade Boggs, Nicholas Castellanos, Mike Piazza, there's Bo Bichette, and, and here's a numbered, we have our first numbered parallel, look at Ryan Mountcastle, that's his rated rookie, and that is out of 75, so that is absolutely uh, the best hit of the two hanger boxes so far, I'm happy about that one, he is very highly touted for Baltimore, he is probably, I think he made the opening day roster. So really nice fire, the uh, fire parallel. Happy about that one. Let me get a brand new, here we go. Very nice card. All right, let's get into the orange. And we've got a Trevor Story, Josh Hader, one of the best and probably one of the most underrated pitchers in the majors. There's Pete Alonzo. Mark McGuire. These are all upside down. I keep having to flip them. Mark McGuire. Braylon Marquez rated rookie. And I want to say that corner, that top left corner is a little off. Shane Bieber. And that's also a... Uh, Parallel card with regards to the uh, Cleveland nickname for their town is Forest City. And then we've got Dominators. That's uh, Alexander Bogarts. And there's a nice one. Trending Luis Robert. Like the trending. That's a nice parallel. It looks really good. As you can tell, I, I do have a nice collection of Luis Robert. That's his uh, sepia graded 10 so i'm happy about that one really nice and then we've got there's alec Baum, rated rookie very nice card there is jose altuve otherwise known as gigante or ronald acuna diamond kings brady singer rookie card Nolan Arenado, who is no longer on Colorado. He's with St. Louis. There's Ricky Henderson, the man of steel. Joey Gallo, who probably will hit 70 home runs this year if he stays healthy and can somehow hit the ball more than strike out. Joe Adele, uh, who's now in the minors. That's his rated rookie card. Pico de Gallo, that's Joey Gallo, um, his nickname card. And then we got the Nolan Arenado Diamond Kings. There's Bobby Dahlbeck, who had a huge spring for the Red Sox. I think he hit like six home runs. So that's a, that's a good rookie card of him. There's Jacob deGrom, the Big Apple. That's also um, obviously a parallel card. And we got Brandon Lau and Sixto Sanchez for the Marlins. So, so far, all the big rookies are in this release. I'm, I'm really happy with, you know, the, the variety of cards that I've gotten. Uh, there's not a ton of resale value on these cards, except if you hit a big parallel. For example, that Mount Castle um, is probably worth, you know, the cost of the hanger box. Um, I would hope that it's it's a ten dollar card. Um, so we'll see. And then some of these some of these really cool hollow parallels are probably worth a few dollars. So 
Um, but it's more it's more so just to rip it for fun and you know if you pull a couple cards that you PC then it's well worth it. So um, all right, third and final Donruss hanger box. And let's take a look here. We've got Josh Donaldson. Mike Soroka, who has recovered from his Achilles injury, he's in the, um, I think he's pitching day two or day three for the uh, Braves. George Springer, Nick Ahmed, Brian Reynolds of the Pirates, there's Josh Bell, who's now with Washington, Kevin Gausman, Nolan Arenado, Aaron Nola, Blake Snell, Nelson Cruz, Pablo Lopez, I have a feeling he's going to have a pretty good year this year. He's un very underrated Good starting pitcher who is young and has improved each year since he's been in the majors. Walker Bueller, prime for a big year. There's another Jose Canseco. There's Ronald Acuna. Bo Jackson, massively off center. That is absolutely horrible. Every single one of them is off center. Renato Nunez. There's David Ortiz, Big Poppy. That's the best one I've seen for centering. Miguel Rojas. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Ozzy, Jose Barrios, there's Dale Murphy, Brandon Woodruff, who I think is op starting pitcher opening day, Cal Ripken. That's a terrible card. He's in basically just a white unit. They, they, that's, yeah, that's, that's one of the reasons why Donruss doesn't have the value is, is a card like this. Um, not, a, not a great card. Hinjin Ryu, Andre Dawson, Luke Voigt who is starting the season on the DL. And is this an autograph card? This is backwards. No, oh, it's a, um, oh, um, it's a high quality, high gloss. There's no numbering on it though. I'm wondering why it's backwards. There's so many parallels, but it's definitely, it's a, it's definitely a, a star. It might be a Stars and Stripes parallel. It's the same as the Garrett Cole, but it was backwards. I was hoping it was an autograph, but it was not. All right, so Colton Wong, who we already got. Ian Happ is another orange. Trevor Bauer should have one eye closed, if you guys know what they, I mean by that. There's a Nolan Ryan. Looks centering is okay. Christian Yelich. And there's a Sammy Sosa, just has a slugging percentage at the bottom. And there's a nice one. That is a beautiful rookies card of Alec Baum. That is really nice. That one will get a sleeve. This one will probably pay for the hanger box and maybe then a little more. I'm guessing this is a $10 card, so we'll see. That's a really nice looking um, rookies insert. Yep, really nice card. Happy with that one. And then we've got a Dominators Babe Ruth. That's a really nice Dominators card of probably the greatest baseball player to ever play the game. And there's a nickname card of Luis Robert, La Pantera. Another nice card. And there's Diamond King's Mike Trout. Those go for a couple bucks. Braylon Marquez, rookie. There's Shane Bieber. Same card I got in the last pack, Forest City. So that's, uh, and then we got Mike Yastrzemski. Ian Anderson's rookie card. He's going to have a really, hopefully a really good year for the Braves. Javier Baez. Big Sexy. <laughs> Oh, my God. Bartolo Colon. Um, Dalton Varsho, rated rookie card for the Diamondbacks. There's Carlos Correa. Jordan Alvarez. Cody Bellinger. And then we've got David Peterson, rated rookie. And Francisco Lindor. So parallels are plentiful in this release, guys. Another, Let's do a little quick review here. We've got the numbered uh, fire uh, emoji. Out of 75, Ryan Mountcastle, really nice card. 65 out of 75. We've got the Alec Baum rookies insert, which is really nice. We've got the trending Luis Robert insert. 
We've got uh, a bunch of orange parallels, which are really cool. We got all the great rookies, Dylan Carlson, Joe Adele, Nate Pearson. So overall, just a really cool set um, with regards to the, uh, the inserts. That's really what you're looking for are these insert cards. We had the Unleashed by Christian Yelich. Um, there's a Diamond Kings uh, orange hollow. So very cool set, guys. I uh, appreciate you spending the time with me today, uh, opening up these three packs of Donruss. Let me know what you think of the set. Let me know what you think of Donruss. Does it have any value? Do you guys collect it? And uh, once again, appreciate all the support. Please remember to give a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next video really soon. Have a good one. Take care.